Welcome in. Hello, hello. Welcome in. We are back. Big Sky Farms on Westbridge Hills. We are here in the office today where we want to do a little bit of work on our um, equipment lineup. Um, we just had a meeting with the brothers this morning, and we need to do some swapping out, some upgrading, and making things a little bit more, um, what's the word we want to look for? User-friendly to our operation, shall we say. Um, we had a meeting with the dealer late yesterday about the forage harvester, and we want to get rid of that. Um, it's an expense we probably shouldn't have done. We were in a weak moment, and we just did it anyway. So, um, fun little fact for you guys joining us in the office uh, this afternoon, excuse me, this morning, is uh, Bailey the dog. Um, there's my little hound dogger. I'm just hanging out, sleeping the day away. Don't we wish we could all be her? So, um, she's going to hang out with us here on the video for a little bit. And we are going to open up our menu. Um, and what we're going to do, um, we're going to get rid of our semi-truck. We are going to get rid of the 942. We are going to get rid of the 933. We are getting rid of the Katana Chopper. We're getting rid of the um, Dump Wagon. And last but not least, we are getting rid of the uh, Header. So we're at 912.490. So just let me write that down here. 912.490. So the idea that we have is to um, pick up some different machinery. The biggest thing we want to get... Uh, is a big high horsepower. Nope, this is not the one we want. Um, here we are. These are the ones we want. We're going to go with Lizard, and we're going to go with big wide tires on there. We're going to bump it up. Uh, don't need a number. Pro oh, we don't need the cooler or the steering handle. Probably better have a quick hitch and GPS. Absolutely, let's go. Big Sky Arms of Westbridge Hills. Perfect. Okay, uh, let's try that again. There we go. All right. So that is 405. Takes just a little less than half of our cash right there. 405-144. Okay. So that will take care of that one. Now, to replace our forage harvester, uh, we only need 180 horse, and we should be able to do that with the 200 horse um, fence that we have on the feed wagon for right now. We do want the double axle, and this is a new one. We're going to get the kernel processor. Uh, we won't need a number. We do want the inoculant tank. Getting a pipe extension. Yeah, we'll get the pipe extension. Um, so that's going to be 43. Write that down here on my notes. On the desk. Okay. Now we got that. We'll go pick up some headers for it. And they should be here they are. Alright. So we get the new Holland style or the case. We're gonna get the case. That's sixty two hundred. 
two zero zero. All right. And just to make sure, yep. I'm gonna buy that guy. Okay. And he was probably should check the price on him. Thirty six. And let's see what we are at for numbers now. Four fifty eight, one forty three. 143. That is going to leave us with about 450,000 left yet. Um, so we can look at a couple other things that we wanted. Um, what were they going to be? First one is going to be a slurry tank. And we're looking in that Could go with this great big dog. Nine thousand five hundred gallons. And we're gonna keep it fairly simple. I would like the trail borgs, uh, trail love borgs, excuse me. Um, and I would like an eight row injector. Um, I'm gonna put a splash guard, no. I do want the extension though, that's nice. Work lights, absolutely. Extra strobes for safety on the highway. I don't think we need a ladder or that. Uh, probably caps over our Lights would be a good idea. And a braking system for nine, absolutely. $10,000 sensing system, I think that is going to be worth it, in my opinion. Um, so we are going to get that. That will help uh, manage our um, nutrients to the best. So that is going to get us 99000 and then, nope, we need to go up here to our trailers and get um, going to go with our big boxes on here for these Myers, and we are going to get two of those. One last thing we do need to get is uh, this is kind of what we had in mind um, but it's going to be um, this is more something what I wanted but that's just not in the price for that 152. So this is what we did have um, for just a little bit more, and we do have the horsepower to do it. We could get this guy, or we could go with this one. He's a skosh wider, pulls a little bit faster, and is less. Let's do that. So let's see the details. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. And what else were we going to look at? So the other thing we're going to do is we've got 339,000 left. What I would like to do is pay off some bills. Uh, as you can see down here in the bottom, we're two million down so we want to get that down we're going to make a two hundred fifty thousand dollar payment so that's going to get us down to 1.75 still leaves us with ninety thousand dollars in operating costs which 
Okay, back to the store we go. Um, we are going to lease a um, this cultivator. Yes. And the tanks. Um, I think these tanks will do just fine. And... We forgot a truck to haul our commodities. That was one thing we were, were, were thinking. Um, now the dealer does have a gently used, um, well, I shouldn't even say gently used. They've got one of those new Kenworths in, um, and I can't fit out my door because I'm too tall. There, we can get out. Um, and they've got one of those that uh, somebody backed out on. Um, they lost their down payment. We could get it for a very good price. So that is what we are going to do. Now... We're going to go take a gander at some of our new stuff and get a few things going in the works here. Uh, we need to... I think the first thing I want to get done is I would like to get some anhydrous put down on that corn ground. Um, and because, as we all know, Typically, we're just going to pick this trailer up since we're going past. Um, typically, fertilizer does not go up. Um, we are going to put on a full rate of that um, for corn. And just get that set and get some anhydrous down and put the full dose of corn or nitrogen for that corn down this fall. So, um, we're going to pull in here. We will see our whole stash of stuff. Um, and I personally, I think this was some, some good, uh, good work that we did. Um, these are some good trades. Um, the dealer was willing to write us a check, um, to keep us, um, somewhat satisfied, if you will, um, about the, debacle with the Fent Chopper. Um, that was the first one they'd ever sold. They'd heard nothing but good things about them. Um, and so they were um, very happy that we would or were willing to work with them, and of course we were as well. Anytime you can get the dealer to write a check is always, um, always a good thing. So let's see if we can get some things going here. See if we can get this and Hydra's put down in this episode today. Oh, you know what one thing we should have for this tractor? We should have a front weight. Uh, we want to get that nose down, get those get those big front tires to dig in. So as soon as we are hooked up to our anhydrous tank, we will get that bought and hooked up to our tractor. And we do want the big. There we go. We're gonna buy that guy. All right, now where did he end up? Okay, perfect. Good spot. Good spot. So we're gonna unhook there. Back over the hitch. Hopefully we didn't. Good deal. And we will. This guy hooked up. Beautiful. 
and we'll go get some work done. We will swing past the yard and get the um, anhydrous put in, and we'll go from there. Okay, let's swing down to the yard. We shall see. We discussed it, and this was kind of the best option for horsepower. Um, still giving us real crop ability. We can put it on the um, grain cart in the fall. And we'll load up some anhydrous here. And apparently we don't have too much to wait. Perfect. So, that's kind of what we're going to be doing today. Um, we'll go get started on it. We may um, hire a worker, jump off, and do some extra work. I'm not quite sure what that is going to look like just yet. So, but we are enjoying the extra horsepower here for sure. Let's see if we can't wing this big dog down. Yeah. Okay, so... And I believe we want to, now that we're set right, let's get a course going here. We're going east, wide. And let's get her set. And we killed it. Awesome work. Let's get going here. See if we can get some stuff done. Get some nitrogen down for this corn. We'll slow it down here. 10 might be a little fast. 8 feels about right for us. So we will catch you guys here in a little bit. We'll do a little bit of a time lapse here for you and check in on you probably when our tank of fertilizer is out. Until then, sit back and enjoy the ride.
back here for a minute. We can see what happens when you fall asleep with the GPS and don't turn quite soon enough. So we need to do a little bit of jockeying around here to get this corner um, taken care of and I am not sure we're going to be able to do that without folding up. So I think we can get by, nope, we'll have to fold the whole thing up. So, all right, let me get unfolded here, get lined up, and we'll start again.
Alright, as we come back live, we've uh, been getting a little bit done. These short rows always sort of kill your efficiency. Um, so, it's kind of why I started on those first. Um, we're going to see if we can get them knocked out and then probably uh, call it an episode there. Kind of a good uh, natural stopping point there. But we are... Um, we're running good. We've got um, put a nice dab of uh, anhydrous down, uh, nitrogen down for our corn this spring. Um, we are at about 68% left in the tank, so we'll probably have plenty to finish this field. Um, we are going to uh, save that little skiff for um, when we're done with the headlands here. Or maybe when we're done with this next pass, um, we are going to hopefully yep, get a good coverage there. And we'll have to do this top headland um, probably next time. So we are rolling along with this the 1st of December. Um, hopefully next episode we can get finished up with this anhydrous application, get the toolbar brought back. Um, and then we might have to do some monkeying around on the farm, getting a few things put away. Um, we'll also have to, again, uh, go back and feed the cows. Um, they're going to be hungry again, so we'll definitely have to get them fed. But for today, this is Big Sky Farms. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. <laughs>